around us have left, so we're a little bit lonely on this side of the anchorage. Everybody else is over there. Nobody wants to be near us. to do a little hike. We weren't the best prepared to do it really because of all the days we had to sleep in. It was today. She didn't wake up until 8.45. So by the time we decided that some day off the boat we were going to do something and we got ready, got in the dinghy, got to shore, it was 11 o'clock. So probably not the time to climb up a big hill. A bit hot. But actually it's quite breezy and it's not overly sunny. It's quite a cloudy day so in terms of the weather wise it's a good day to do it. And look at that beast to the left of her. It's humongous. What did you say it was, Liam? 24 meters. 24 meters. Then look at us at our level. 10 meters. 10.7. 10.7. Aren't we so tiny? You have a nice yeah. walk up the hill. It's easy for you, you just sleep. Don't you? You just have sleepies all the way up.
We're just wondering what on earth is wrong with our boat because every other boat is facing out to sea in the anchorage and then the Sereda pointing in literally the opposite direction to everybody else. Check out this awesome ship coming into the anchorage. Although Liam and I do appreciate more modern yachts, it's definitely the older style vessels like this one that really catch our eye. We've been in Los Cristianos for a week now. We didn't plan to be, on, to be in this anchorage for this long. We were gonna head over to La Palma. The plan was we were gonna leave from La Palma. We thought our packages would have arrived by now. We could sail to La Palma, stock up and off we go. But they haven't arrived. We are considering giving up on them, but we're just waiting here for now. It's pretty nice here. We're close to town, shops, fresh water, there's showers on the beach, it's everything that we need. We've made friends with a few of the cruisers. Um, there's some people on a couple on a, on a catamaran over there, that catch behind them and the red boat behind that, we've made friends with all of them. And I think that, yeah, that boat there as well with the blue stripe, we made friends with those guys as well. Although they're off to Cape Verde tomorrow, so probably won't see them again. We haven't really done a massive amount here. Liam bought a second-hand surfboard. He's been surfing a couple of times. Went for a walk up the hill to see the view, which was nice. And uh, hung out on the beach with our with these fellow cruisers. The guys got a little bit drunk. Banjie and I went home early and went to bed. But it's been really nice. The swell is quite big on the south coast. We're just about protected around the corner, so I don't think we're gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. We're just hanging out here. Evangeline's being very clingy to me today. So we've got Liam on the hand washing. Usually I do all the washing, but not today. We are currently attempting to make some shade in the cockpit. Ideally, we'd love to make a permanent uh, kind of bimini thing over the helm position. But maybe we'll try and do that when we're back in the UK with Sereda. But for now, piece of tarpaulin, bit of rope, some pegs and zip ties. We're gonna try and make it work. So this is our um, attempt at shade in the cockpit. It works. The cockpit is in shade. It doesn't look overly pretty. I'm sure we will find a better way of doing it. But for now, we can sit in the cockpit and not get sunburnt and be nice and cool. So, Liam was supposed to have his hair cut before we left. But, the unorganised fella that he is, he didn't. So I am going to have a go at cutting it. He's just trying to uh, sharpen the scissors a little bit. I have tried to cut it before. One time it went quite well, didn't it? Ooh. I mean, all times it's gone okay. But it's never as good as a hairdresser. Because I am not a hairdresser. Are you not? No. Mm. Just you wait, miss, when you've got long hair. At least a girl's hair is easier. You can just trim it. No, because it'll drop down when you sit in it, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, it drops down a lot. Yeah. Oh, they're not slips, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely view. Attempt number three at hammocking 
Oh, it's looking hopeful so far. Oh, oh, he's actually hammocking. Just ish. I'm definitely the rest of the thing. What's the thing he's got here? He could maybe tighten that one a, a little bit. No, because I could have just get in it. Yeah, you'll be fine. Fine. Well, somewhat a success. I'm in it for now. Yes. Until the ding goes back in the water. Well, I finished it. It does not look great. Very mismatched. But it'll do for now. The flag is finally going up. What on earth is it going to look like? I'm not sure people are going to be able to tell a British from it. They're going to think, what does that flag even mean? We're our own special kind of British. That's what we are. Step back, Liam, let's have a look. Oh, uh, actually, I mean, to be fair, you can tell. It looks pretty good. Yeah, pleased with that. So it's now the middle of December, there's no update on our packages, they're still stuck in Madrid, in customs, there's other people that we've met have got things stuck in customs as well, so it's not just us, there's still hope that they're going to arrive, but unfortunately Scott has got to go back to work in the middle of January, and at this point now, because it will take us, I would say at least three weeks to cross the Atlantic, because we're not going to speed across, we've got Evangeline, we'd want to take it nice and slow and safe that we just don't have the time we can't really set off without the fridge and the spear gun because the, the money that we spent on them you know if they were just cheap things then we just leave them behind just leave them in customs but we need to wait for them but Scott can't wait so unfortunately Scott's gonna go home I've got to say goodbye to Scott we haven't yet decided whether we will cross to the Caribbean without Scott as crew just the two of us and Evangeline. Well, um, we've got a lot of discussing to do. But yeah, that's the sad update. Goodbye to Scott. This is not good. Oh, bloody hell, did I get this in? Hello. <laughs> Scott's leaving the boat today. He's booked himself a hotel for his last two nights. He goes with all of his this stuff. This is genuinely as heavy as a person. <laughs> what the hell? Enjoy your dives and your surf. I'll try. <laughs> 